You might not realize it, but games based on photography are having a moment in 2021. Not only did Nintendo release the long overdue sequel to Pokemon Snap, but this year also brought us Panko Park, a port of Fatal Frame Maiden of Black Water, and the debut release from Banana Bird Studios, Beasts of Maravilla Island. It's a serene and often relaxing adventure that is all about getting to know the island's weird and wonderful creatures and taking pictures of them for the whole world to see. And let me tell you, after a week covering the circus that was E3, sightseeing on a tropical island far from civilization sounds like the perfect vacation right about now. Ugh, too bad it's just a video game. Let me introduce you to Marina, a young woman who has decided to follow in her adventure-seeking grandfather's footsteps to uncover the magical secrets of Maravilla Island. This was the location of so many tall tales of mythical beasts and undiscovered species. And with her grandfather's recent passing, Marina has decided to visit the island and see for herself if the stories were actually true. Equipped with his trusty old camera, a detailed journal, and an emotional letter, this is her way to honor his legacy and introduce a whole new generation to the wonders of Maravilla Island. So, I don't think I'm going to spoil anything when I tell you that Grandpa was right. This is a magical island filled with undiscovered treats. The lush forests are teeming with weird and wonderful creatures that defy our expectations, such as monkeys that fly around the sky like birds, or otters that look and act kind of like alligators. All this fascinates the nature-loving Marina, who can't help but fall in love with everything that she sees. Instead of being afraid of these new and unusual creatures, she's quick to get up close and personal and take as many pictures as possible. She's eager to show the rest of the world what she was able to discover and spread the work that was started by her grandfather. Spread across three sizable locations, Beasts of Maravilla Island has a predictable structure that involves us learning about a new animal and then taking pictures of it doing various activities. For example, the game will not only want you to take pictures of those monkeys resting on a tree limb, but also flying through the air, singing their annoying songs, and even dancing that elaborate mating ritual that they do. Marina will need to solve simple puzzles in order to trigger the events and get that perfect photo. Once you've figured out how to get all four required snapshots, a path will open up that'll take you to a brand new setting complete with new animals, new insects, and new vegetation. Now, while I wish I could have visited more parts of the island, the three different locations mix things up enough to keep it from feeling repetitive. The game does a good job of introducing unique types of puzzles and terrain in each stage. And I like the different coloring and how each location has its own atmosphere and ambiance. I also appreciate that there's a slight but important story that adds a much-needed layer of mystery to the adventure. While not especially deep, the narrative does a good job of tying everything together and leaving the player with an inspirational message about the importance of nature. But like all great vacations, our visit to Maravilla Island is over too soon. Unless you get lost in the trees or something, it shouldn't take players much more than 90 minutes to photograph every inch of the tropical paradise. While not necessarily small, the three stages are all a little too linear, and the puzzles are so basic that the solutions are always blatantly obvious. This is the kind of game that really could have benefited from having twice as many locations, or maybe more mythical beasts to interact with. The adventure is over just as it's starting to heat up, leaving me with a disappointed feeling that I didn't explore enough of the island. I'm not exaggerating when I tell you that it took me longer to watch the unskippable credits roll than it did to play the entire last stage of the game. I was also annoyed by how buggy the experience was. 
There's just a general lack of polish found throughout all of the stages that lead to Marina getting stuck on the backgrounds or animals clipping through the environment. And I hate to continue to harp on the credits roll, but there was a bit at the end where I started to wonder if the game actually crashed on me. Everything from the gameplay to the graphics to the ending feel like they needed a little bit more time in the oven. Still, even with all the jank and the short adventure, Beasts of Maravilla Island still proves to be a relaxing scavenger hunt through three colorful settings. I like the mystery that it sets up and the puzzle solving is a nice touch, but suspect that everybody except for maybe the youngest gamers will fly through Marina's far too brief expedition like a rainbow crested cutsel monkey. Hmm, I guess that explains why she didn't pack an extra set of clothes. Take the perfect photograph in Beasts of Maravilla Island, a fun and relaxing journey through a tropical setting filled with hidden secrets and undiscovered animals. With a likable lead and an inspirational message, this debut release from Banana Bird Studios will delight younger audiences and the nature lover in all of us. Too bad the short length and simplistic puzzles means that you'll have no problem beating the game in a single sitting. Yeah, Maravilla Island may be gorgeous and fun to explore, but it really could have used a few more beasts. Hey, thanks for watching our review. If you liked what you saw here, then you should know that we post new reviews and features almost every day. Now, here's the question I have for you. If you could vacation in a video game world, where would you go? Would you take a trip to the Mushroom Kingdom, Hyrule, one of those really violent dimensions from Mortal Kombat? Ooh, can't wait to see your picks in the comments below. In other news, we'll be back later this week with a look at E3's most intriguing games, followed by more reviews, more announcements, and more magazine coverage. Oh boy, we have a whole bunch to get to in June. So do me a favor and click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then, 